several people, Dana Goldman, Ross Goldman, John, and Barbara Moss. Through all the insanity we call cancer treatment, they have always made sure that my family is taken care of, and we have had plenty of family vacation time to cherish. I brought two of my best friends to help me with my presentation. I'd like to turn the mic over to my best friends, Chip and Bill. Sometimes you have to let someone fail before they're ready to listen to advice. Jeff has built up a trust with the students and athletes he photographs. He promises them he won't post an ugly picture of them. This trust allows him to drop pieces of advice when he sees a student has lost confidence or is frustrated. The advice always starts out the same. Jeff types out a message. Are you open for a suggestion and then a conversation ensues? He's taken the time to show them how much he cares. I think he's shown all of us how much he cares about those in front of the camera, his friends and family, <coughs> and his town. And we see it every day on that little Facebook page he calls Bedford Snapshots. <laughs> side of life. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Chip Newman, and I was honored when Jeff asked me to be one of his voices. Jeff and I spent our formative high school years together in a small town called Bedford. Jeff was conceived on the Net Island, Alaska, and born in Presidio, San Francisco, California. Captain Bernard and Penny Horman moved Jeff and family to Miami, Florida, Astoria, Oregon, Agana, Guam, West Hollywood, Florida, and Traverse City, Michigan. Then in 1975, they brought their eight children to Bedford because it was close to Hanscom. When the Hoylands moved into a neighborhood, they became a neighborhood. <laughs> Jeff had found his home. In the BHSU book, Jeff's quote was, Jack of all trades, master of none. Jeff was known for playing football, starring in musicals, running track, and dungeon mastering the local Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> <laughs> Too many late nights. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff floated easily from one group to another. Although Jeff didn't play a musical instrument, he could just as easily be found after school in the band room. 
Jeff and I both worked at Denny's in Lexington. Yeah, there was a Denny's in Lexington. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good times, good times. There was one bus, bus boy there named Greg Trenton. Greg was so good and so efficient, he was the envy of everyone who worked with him. He created a way to stack dirty dishes in a bus tub that became known as the Kentonian. <laughs> this was the first time Jeff got to see why the average or exceptional as an option. I'm most pleased to say that high school with Jeff in the 70s was so much better because we didn't have digital cameras. <laughs> the younger Jeff would have taken much glee in posting pictures which should have never been posted. <laughs> a battle I still face. <laughs> He scans a lot of old pictures. <laughs> <laughs> now that digital images are important in high school as math or English, Jeff makes sure that students who do extracurricular activities have pictures that the students are proud to share. Uh, and just for one more quick note, um, a note to camera. Phone's got this one. Mm -hmm. So you all just smile for me. There we go. All right, look for that. I've been for trap snapshots. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I share on Facebook because it is an easy way for grandparents to see their grandkids. I want to thank the webmaster at Benford High School Parent Association. I never tag BHSPA with any of my posts out of respect to not clutter up their social media, and yet every day they pick one or two of my posts to retweet. I want to thank the founding fathers of the United States who unanimously agree they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I have chosen to focus on the pursuit of happiness. I know there are still people in the audience who are trying to figure out who the other 6% of people who are not donating time to the town. <laughs> this room. 